Hey yo, Nerdcore Dave here. Got some stuff I want to go over with you guys. But first, we got special surprise. This is it. Nerdcore goes cosmic. Hit the music. No, you thought this was a game, didn't you? This isn't a game. <laughs> hey, welcome back, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that. I don't know. I'm pissing around with some kind of having some sort of intro. I don't know. Hope you hope it was a good time. It's that kind of party. But um, hey, guys, I wanted to go over. I got a few things to go over here with you guys today. Um, what I have here is some local comic shop pickups. And then I have some other stuff I picked up. And then I'm getting some stuff for, uh, ready to ship out for CGC because I got to go pick up at one in the city tomorrow. We're going bright and early. Janine's meeting me first thing in the morning. It's effing cold over here on the East Coast. And uh, I'm getting over a cold and everything else. But um, I wanted to uh, go over this stuff with you guys before I send it out, all right? So let's check this out. It's local, local comic shop pickups. While my uh, retailer, the owner of my shop, was getting my stuff, I decided to dig through his uh, back issue boxes, and I found a Swampy that I didn't have, so that's a good one, that's the original series, right? well, not the original, the set, I think it's volume two. And then I found a Christmas cover, Archie marries Veronica, it's twins! Too good to be true, but uh, definitely, I never saw this one before, and I wanted for my Christmas collection. I didn't even know he had twins, they had kids, I didn't know they got married. What happened to Betty? That's nah, probably with Jughead. All right, so anyways, then I grab the uh, the new stuff, the juicy stuff. This is ASM number 14. Truthfully, I haven't been reading my Spider-Mans, but listen, guys, ever since I was a kid, uh, I always collected Amazing Spider-Man. That's, like I've said a million times before, that's the one that has all the keys, and, and Spidey, uh, sometimes it's hit or miss, but back in the day, it was always hits, man, and so that's always been... Uh, key component of my collection. I'm sure I'll sit down and read these one of these days. Uh, I got the Heroes in Crisis cover with the Majestic Soups cover. Um, I did like the Jason Todd uh, getting his uh, head cracked in cover, but uh, I he, he threw this in my pile and I just took it. I wasn't really thinking. I, it doesn't matter. This is a cool cover anyway, even though I'm not the biggest Superman. Now this one, I wish I would have got the other cover. Uh, new Detective 997. We're almost at a thousand. The other cover has him and Mr. Miracle, or he's wearing a Mr. Miracle Max. Uh, mask. I might actually grab a second copy of the one with the Mr. Miracle mask if I see it tomorrow at the shop. Um, but yeah, so I took this, the Archie Farchy covers usually. Now, back to my Venom collection. Second printing of uh, number nine. Um, as you can see, look, there's that Venom dog right there, man. Isn't that crazy? That's the symbiote, the, the chain and the, I don't know, man, but that's it. And I'll tell you what, they're making that, that symbiote ever since uh, Spidey, ASM Annual 1 that they just had. Uh, making the symbiote very super uh, sympathetic, and um, which is crazy because I remember a time when it was the source of all evil. I remember that. I, I, I don't know if it was the last panel of 299 or the first panel. I think it was the first panel of 300. The, there's some insinuation there of assault on that first page, man. So uh, seeing Venom as a hero and making him sympathetic and actually caring about the symbiote is crazy, man. But um, yeah, so then we got... That's the baby this week, right? I slapped that some bitch right into a My Light 2 with uh, halfback. But um, if you guys aren't aware, this is the black and white edition. This is cover C of Spawn 293. And it has color pages in it, even though it was solicited as black and white. Now, what they did was, they didn't recall these as far as I know. But what they did was, they said they're going to replace the actual um, copies, the retailer. So if the re retailer ordered five copies, they're gonna get five copies of the actual black and white in. Now, what I'm wondering is everybody's going ape shit for this. This thing's going between 15 and $50 online from what I understand on eBay. I'm wondering, is anybody gonna have the regular ones? Is that the one that's gonna be worth something because nobody has a regular? So I'm probably gonna pick up the, the, the fixed edition, the repaired, whatever it is, but uh, as well. But I'm happy to get one of these. Um, and actually, I, I ordered one of those from DCBS. One of those will be my DCBS order, I believe, as well. Now, 
I was fiending today at work. It's Friday, and I know I'm going to get shit tomorrow, but I uh, I wanted to go check out that place that I found all those sweet dollar issues of the New 52, like the Batmans and stuff like that. And I stopped there, and they did have uh, some new stuff in there. They, they, in fact, they told me they just dropped some stuff in there today. And I found out I could get on a calling list, so if they get any more collections in, they're going to call me right away. So that's going to be awesome. But anyways, I found some Spideys I'm pretty sure, the Spectacular Spideys I'm pretty sure I didn't have. These were all in real nice shape, too. I might actually go back and get the other ones, because I think they might be in better shape than um, the ones I have. But these are sweet, and uh, I nabbed them up. Pretty sure I don't have them. So, and this is a classic cover. I'm glad to get this in a real nice condition. There was actually two of those in, two of the 75. And this one, I think I have three or four copies of, but um, I'm never passing one of those up when they're, dude, th this cover is bl black in these old books, man. When you see this sweet cover, Mike Zek artwork, I can't pass it up if it's in good condition because they're usually beat to shit. Then something else I've always wanted to pick up and I haven't. They only had these two issues of uh, Forever Evils, number one and number two. Now, I read part of this storyline, and it was friggin' awesome. So, uh, I'm anxious to get back to that and um, recommend you guys read it from what I saw. It's pretty good. Picked up Batman, uh, New 52, number five. There's only a couple left in there. I was surprised, but I grabbed them up. That's Sweet Capullo cover. And number two from the zero, 22 from the Zero Year storyline for a buck. Can't beat it. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the Justice Leagues. They had a few of the Justice Leagues in there for New 52. And uh, Big Matt, I know you keep telling me that I need to read that. And I almost picked up the other couple that they had there. But um, I figured I was getting enough shit for now. So I got the number seven. And it's supposed to have the introduction of the new school Shazam. So that's like a key issue. This one, purely a cover by Sweet Black Widow cover. I have no idea who did it. But that's pretty tight, man. Um, definitely on point. And then last, lastly... Um, last but not least, I guess, I came across another sweet book, and it's one of those Christian books, just like Todd had, it's the same line, it's the same, if you look at that, was it Lee Hartley, can you see that, same guy who drew that Hanzi, the girl who loved the swastika, well, he did that one too, it's the adventure with the brothers smashing the smugglers, ring. so, uh, I'm definitely interested in checking that out. That'll be a good time. But you can see right here it says uh, Harbor Christian Comics. So, I, you know what? Every time I see those, I'm going to pick those up. So, that's that. I got my fix in. And something else they had there was the, um, it was the Brian Lee and, and uh, or Brian Azzarello and Jim Lee Superman run. I don't know if it's any good. Um, I know some of the covers were really cool. I uh, was almost bought to the two hot covers that I liked, and then um, I decided not to. I decided to get the whole run. Then I'm like, you know what? I'm going to spend money on comics tomorrow. I don't know what I'm going to get into. And uh, so I ended up putting them back. But I might go back and get it. I think it was the whole run. I could be wrong. But anyways, I've got the Max Protection Cryo Chamber storage system. Now, um, what I have in here is stuff I'm taking to CGC. Now... You guys remember that this max protection is slightly larger than the BCW one. Now, it's good for these because, you know how I'd make that, take that MyLite 2s and do that fold, that pro fold? Well, they fit in here sweet, like I said before. So, um, for now, they're in there, but you know what? They're coming out of there, and I'm putting them in, in the BCW because what I did is I busted out... Um, I just took a glance. I, I, I didn't have any Silver Age bags and boards. So what I did was I opened up my Amazing Spider-Man collection. And in the back, the annuals look like the, the backing boards might be a little discolored. So um, what I did was I'm going to swap them out and put them in there. And uh, save the My Lights. Because the My Lights, you know, I think the bag and board... What are they? For 50... For 100 bags and boards total, that's half backs and my late twos, it's like 50 bucks. So those are pretty expensive, man. So um, comparatively, you know, that's five times more than what the uh, usual ones. So I'm going to uh, save these ones, put them in, in the, the old ones to ship out, and I'll probably double them up with the board so they stay nice and stiff, and then um, send them out. Um, but I'm going to send out this uh, Teen Titans number 12 foil that I got. You guys know, this one, guys... This one, I will be very surprised if this doesn't come back the same 
as that other one I have, the 9.8. Honestly, I think it might even get higher. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah. Um, and then also I'm sending out, now these two are obviously not going to need press that, that ultimate fallout four. Again, I expect this to come back at nine, six, nine, eight, at least. Um, so let's hope for the best here. Then, um, two that I'm going to send out that are definitely going to need pressed is that Betty and me number 16, um, with the controversial, I guess not. It's, a uh, explicit cover i don't know uh actually i you know what i want to show you guys this anyways so hold on and then also the uh controversial storyline the i am curious black uh lois lane 106 issue i'm going to send out as well that's going to get pressed now something i did this time is uh sometimes i'm ha not happy with the way the liner notes are on the headers of those cgc's so i actually went ahead and prepared my own liner notes here you can see. So what I'm going to do is let's take a look. That Betty and Me, number 16, what I am uh, what I have written down here, and I actually got this off of CGC I saw online. Classic cover with risque dialogue, okay? But like um, this one I kind of made up myself. Superman's Girlfriend, Lois Lane, 106. Controversial storyline. Second appearance of, the, of Rose and the Thorn. So I got that off a of key collector. I got those. So... I don't know if it said controversial storyline. I put that there. I'm hoping that they'll take my notes and put it on the damn CGCs because I know sometimes they don't really have. I know Todd was um, Todd said that he didn't like that the Hulk 181 ad wasn't on his CGC, but I could tell you that the last time I sent one of these out, all it said was NC Oak City Con foil variant. And that was it. It didn't say first appearance of Batman Who Left. So I'm expecting to, um, I'm hoping to get those liner notes on there. But anyways, we're going to hit up two shops tomorrow. Janine's going to get her stabby bunny. I'm going to grab that art germ Batgirl variant at the one. And then um, I'm looking for something else too. I'm going to be looking for a spider him cover that I didn't know existed until today. Then um, I'm going to go mess around with these CGCs and what I can get into, okay? So uh, until then, I guess we could probably nerdcore out. Peace out, guys.